everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about why my spinach plants look like this. Yeah, not very spinachy. In my June update video, I briefly explained why my spinach was looking like this, and that's because it has bolted. Not a lot of people are familiar with that term, so today we're going to be talking about bolting. What is it, why does it happen, and what you can do to prevent it. So bolting means that a plant prematurely starts producing flowers and seeds and whatever leaves it produces after it starts bolting are usually bitter and unusable. It often happens when a plant is under stress with the most common cause being a change in temperature. But there can also be a few other reasons such as lack of water or it gets too hot when the plant is in its final stage of growing. Basically the plant panics, starts producing seeds, and then dies. Bolting commonly occurs in leafy vegetables, onions, and root vegetables. What these guys all have in common is that they fall under the cool weather crop family, although there are certain types of onions that I find do just as well in warmer temperatures as they do in cooler temperatures. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be focusing on leafy greens such as lettuce or spinach. It's common to grow these types of vegetables in the spring or the fall when the temperatures are around 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. These guys tend to prefer cooler temperatures, so as the weather begins to warm up, that's when they are likely to reach the end of their lifespan and start producing seeds. This is usually a gradual process, but if you have a sudden change in the temperature, it can happen a lot quicker. In my case, we had a few sudden heat waves throughout May and June, and I noticed kind of around the beginning of June is when my spinach began to bolt. I now know for next year that I should start my spinach seeds one month earlier, just in case something like this happens again. As you can see here, the plant started producing these arrowhead shaped leaves, and these guys are the ones that will taste quite bitter. This is another sign that your spinach has bolted in case the weird pollen looking things wasn't an obvious sign. <laughs> but honestly, if you mix these leaves into a dish, you won't really be able to tell the difference. So what can you do to prevent or stop your plants from bolting? Well, unfortunately, once your plant has started bolting, there's not a ton of things that you can do. The most ideal thing is to obviously grow your crops during their preferred growing season so that they can reach their full size so you can maximize their harvest. But obviously we live in a very unpredictable world, so that's not realistic. The first thing you can do is when you notice that your plants start producing little flower buds, pinch them off. This can sometimes slow the bolting process, but it's usually not very successful in completely stopping it. I often do this with my basil plants because once it starts producing flowers, it's no longer going to produce basil leaves and it will begin to focus all of its energy into growing the flower versus growing the leaves that are already existing on the plant. That's another good tip too. If you notice that your plant's leaves are almost the size you want them to be, but there's also flower buds starting to form, just pinch them off so that the plant can focus its energy on growing those leaves so that you can harvest them at the size you want them to be before your plant goes bye-bye. Another tip to prevent bolting is to make sure that your plants are getting enough water. I know it's a very basic tip, but I find that it's one that a lot of people tend to overlook. As it gets warmer, the plant is going to draw more water from the soil because it's thirsty. It's just like when you're outside on a hot day and you want a glass of water, so if you're thirsty, chances are your plants are thirsty too. If you don't water your plants enough, they'll just be like, well, guess it's the end of my life now, and then spend their remaining energy trying to produce seeds. That being said, not every plant is going to produce seeds because I'm pretty sure we've all had a couple plants that have just completely crisped up due to lack of water and they didn't even leave seeds behind. But nonetheless, just make sure your plants get the right amount of water. And lastly, sometimes you just gotta let nature take its course. That's right, I'm saying let your plants die. I know that's the furthest thing from a prevention tip, but like I said, once your plant starts bolting, there's not a lot you can do to reverse the process. So sometimes you just gotta let your plants dry out, collect the seeds, and try again next year. So now I'm gonna walk you through how I harvested my spinach seeds. As you can see here in one container, I have several spinach plants with these little seed pods, and in the other container, there's nothing. You'll want to let your plant dry out completely before harvesting the seeds. Only one of my spinach plants was completely dried out and the others still had a little bit of green left in them, so I just cut those stems and let them hang out on my shelf outside until they were fully dry. Once they're completely dry and brown, choose a sunny day to gather your seeds. You'll want it to be sunny because you don't want any moisture to accumulate on the seeds. Get a tray or an envelope and shake the seed heads off the stem. Then seal your envelope, write the date you harvested your seeds, and store them in a cool, dry location until it's time to plant again. So there you have it, the basics of bolting. If you have any other questions regarding bolting or harvesting seeds, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to respond to them. Like and subscribe, I'll see you later. Bye!